As Israel's genocidal attack on Gaza continues, the Al Shifa Hospital, which was a shelter for thousands, has almost been evacuated. In this special weekend edition of Daily Debrief, we bring you the latest from this brutal war on the Palestinian people. The Al Shifa hospital has almost been entirely evacuated as Israel's attacks continue. There were reports that Israel had given an hour's ultimatum for the evacuation of this facility, although Israel has of course denied it. This is happening even as relief work has been significantly affected and food shortages are mounting. Israel has also refused to heed a UN Security Council resolution calling for a humanitarian pause. For more details, we go to Abdul. Abdul, thank you so much for joining us. So, quite a lot of developments happening in Palestine. Let's first go to the Al Shifa hospital, which is where a lot of the media coverage has been focusing on as well. What's really happening on the ground? We've seen that a vast majority of the hospital, at least, has been evacuated as of now. Uh, in Al Shifa hospital, there was a confusion today whether Israelis have asked for evacuation or not. Uh, the uh, hospital staff claimed uh, repeatedly that there was an ultimate, ultimatum given by uh, Israelis to vacate the hospital within an hour. And the, given the fact that there are large number of uh, patients inside the hospital, some of them cannot even move. Uh, of course, this was considered, this is considered to be a kind of another level of uh, uh, kind of atrocity or uh, the, uh, uh, which Israel has been doing for uh, more than a month, uh, almost uh, one and a half month now. So, uh, but Israelis later on uh, claimed that they have not asked for evacuation. But despite their claims, uh, uh, it, it seems that local uh, Israeli forces have forced a majority of the patients. Uh, out of 600 patients, more than 450 were forced to leave the hospital uh, uh, on uh, on uh, on on Saturday uh, afternoon, and uh, a few of them are still remaining, which uh, of course cannot move. Uh, there are also reports that a, a large number of patients uh, have also be been killed because uh, inside the hospital, uh, because uh, the uh, whatever uh, medical staff co could not do whatever they uh, they wanted, they, what is required uh, to be done primarily because whatever the health facilities were there inside the hospital have completely been destroyed because of the repeated attacks and raids made by the Israeli ground forces inside the hospital. So uh, uh, right now, uh, as per the latest report, a majority of the patients have been forced out of the hospital. They have uh, taken the road uh, to, uh, to the south of the Gaza uh, and uh, still a small number of patients remain inside because they cannot move. And, and that has been the latest uh, uh, report from the uh, hospital. Yeah. But Abdul, also could you maybe tell us how, what is the larger picture regarding the offensive? Because, uh, you know, uh, the, I think reports say that despite the Israeli attempts to clear the whole, whole of northern Gaza, hundreds of thousands of people are still in that area. At the same time, a huge number also moving towards the south. Yeah, yeah. majority of the uh, uh, Ga northern Gaza population remains uh, in that territory, despite the attacks, uh, despite the uh, both the ground and air attacks which have been carried out by Israel for, as I said before, more than uh, one and a half month now. And... Uh, uh, and as for the latest reports, which we uh, uh, were able to gather uh, 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 until Friday, more than 800,000 Palestinians uh, uh, are still remaining inside the northern Gaza. Of course, a part of uh, the, uh, the population has moved south, uh, primarily uh, uh, the uh, most vulnerable section of the uh, Palestinian population or the people whose uh, 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 houses, uh, residential areas, uh, or the other basic facilities have completely been destroyed. Uh, or the patients who were forced out of those hospitals, all the hospitals in northern Gaza have been shut, uh, and therefore uh, the uh, patients have no uh, other alternative but to move south, where still some hospitals are still operational. So a section of population has, of course, moved uh, south, uh, and still moving, but a, a majority of the population in northern Gaza still remains there. Apart from that, uh, of course, the Israeli uh, airstrikes and ground offensive continues. Um, scores of Palestinians have been killed in the last 24 hours. 
and 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 the number of total number of palestinians killed in last uh, 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 since october 7 has crossed 12000 uh, uh, mark um, there are uh, reports of uh, increasing uh, starvation un agencies have warned uh, on on friday that if uh, the way it is continuing a large number of palestinians do not have in a food to eat in the last bakery was destroyed uh, on friday in the israeli strike and it has stopped functioning so a majority of the palestinians who are dependent on aid of course the aid is also filtering in in a very small amount because of the israeli restrictions and uh, um, unrwa one of the basic agencies which basically carries out the relief work to a very large extent in the gaza even Uh, when the war is not happening on the other days um has basically th- uh, kind of uh, uh, expressed its uh, inability to continue its operation which would be a complete disaster if that happens primarily because there is no fuel and there has been repeated ta- uh, targeted attacks against its worker so after all these pressures created uh, it seems that israeli government has agreed to allow two trucks of fuel uh, inside gaza through rafa border but again the uh, relief agencies and the uh, uh, the authorities in uh, in gaza are, are claiming the two trucks of fuel is not enough primarily because uh, uh, the the extent the number of uh, people affected and the uh, the size of the territory the number of amenities which required to be run uh, the, uh, uh, including the hospitals will will need uh, s- several uh, uh, times more uh, the amount which is allowed inside the gaza at this hour and therefore the overall humanitarian situation is becoming bad to worse and it is uh, there are imminent threats of starvation imminent threats of uh, uh, epidemic breakouts uh, 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 like cholera and other serious diseases uh, and which can kind of create a large number of uh, large uh, havoc in the uh, gaza which is already suffering abdul uh, you mentioned unrwa its director its, uh, its head basically saying i think that there is a deliberate attempt to strangle Uh, UNRWA operations as well, which is actually a very dramatic statement, con- considering it comes from the head of a UN agency. Yeah, of course, uh, it is deliberate. Uh, there is no doubt about it. He, of course, because he's a diplo, he is a diplomat. He has to kind of be uh, uh, kind of. In fact, if you see UNRWA statements, they they refrain uh, to name uh, Israel in their statements, primarily because they don't want to uh, kind of invite. Uh, even harsh a reaction and complete shutting down of their operation and israel of israel is capable of it uh, they did it with the un uh, officials after uh, uh, gutra said that what is hap- what happened on october 7 was not without a context so of course uh, one can understand why uh, despite the fact that the, there are diplomatic uh, constraints if uh, uh, unrwa chief comes out and says that there uh, there uh, there has been Uh, israel ha- not israel of course but there there is evidence that there is a attack on the unro officials then they are uh, deliberately uh, depriving them from uh, uh, um, basic necessities like fuel is all of this is happening with a particular scheme and that scheme basically is to kind of uh, kind of basically make all these agencies dysfunctional and make the palestinians suffer more and so of course that is the larger implication of his statement he he said that fuel is used as a weapon correct so uh, uh, and who is using it of course is, of course israelis so yeah that is the overall situation uh, in the gaza strip and now it is becoming much uh, in fact much more uh, most of the agencies are becoming much more assertive they have refrained from naming israel primarily because uh, as i said before because of the uh, fear that this will lead to even harsher reaction from the israelis Right, Abdul. Finally, also a resolution passed by the UN Security Council a few days ago. Important to note that even this resolution does not call for a ceasefire. It just once again mentions the word pause. But even this pause apparently is too much for Israel to accept. Israel, I, I think, is in no mood to accept uh, uh, any kind of pause. Earlier, there were statements given by the Israeli uh, uh, government that they are ready for some pauses under uh, uh, it kind of some kind of arrangement with the US. and it seems because of that understanding uh, even the uh, uh, powers like china and russia which realize that if nothing else is happening at least let's agree to some pauses and that's why the resolution was finally adopted but it seems that israel at this condition thinks that uh, uh, pa- uh, kind of pausing its uh, 
uh, indiscriminate bombing or ground offensive even for some are will lead to uh, its uh, its larger objective of kind of completely wiping out palestinians from uh, most of its uh, terror uh, most of gaza will not be uh, realized and it may get delayed because of course there are constraints in domestic israeli politics also in fact when israeli government allowed uh, uh, two trucks of fuel to pass through rafa border it has led to a large opposition emerging within the israeli uh, system where the the extremist uh, right wing groups have said that this is not uh, uh, this is recklessness basically uh, on behalf of the israeli government so given the larger political constraints and with the objective with which israeli government is operating in gaza even the pauses at this moment they think is not uh, viable and 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 therefore they are not ready to do it and uh, they want to achieve whatever the goals they have completely before any uh, 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 any end to the atrocities are made right abdul thank you so much for the analysis we'll come back to you on monday and see uh, you know where we are at the suffering of the palestinian people continues at this point thank you so much that's all we have in today's episode of daily deep brief we'll be back on monday with a fresh episode Until then do visit our website peoplesdispatch.org and follow us on all social media platforms.